to our last conference here at this beautiful space um, that we've created the last two and a half years together. We are moving three minutes down the road to our little, we're calling it the Ocean Shala. Um, but today's special day, I'm really glad that all of you are here today to have our last Wednesday in the space together. I'll try not to get weepy. And um, all of you out there that share the space with us um, past these walls, um, we welcome you to bless and honor the space with us today as well. Um, we're continuing our studies uh, of the pranayama practice, the values, the movement of the prana, and being able to hold the prana in with the bandhas. And um, just a little review for everybody, we went from understanding how important the locks are through our physiology, keeping us healthy through our pranic practice, through our energy, to our consciousness, and then what was last week? Easy answer, Michelangelo was the quotes. Art. Yeah, to this being an art form for us, for this being beautiful like um, a dance or like someone might do a painting or sculpture for us to come to our mats and make this something beautiful for ourselves. Um, so continuing along that line, we're kind of going to move a little bit from Michelangelo, although we're not completely leaving him because he is our quote this week as well, um, to Leonardo da Vinci. Why Leonardo da Vinci this week? Yet another Renaissance man. We've been studying this image, sort of a universal image of the sketching of the man. What was uh, the name of the man? Peter? That's the Vitruvian man. The Vitruvian man. So, um, I think even if people don't know exactly his name or the story sort of behind it, everyone knows that image because it's used all the time. And when I think of it, I think of like universal signs on the road, you know, that, you know, say something to everyone or how we bring our hands in front of our heart and everyone knows this means respect. I feel like whenever we see this image, it speaks to us universally. So just tell me today, like, what, is, what does it mean to you, Rita, when you see that image? Health. Health. Me too. Absolutely. David, what about you? Symmetry. Symmetry. Absolutely, and that was part of um, Da Vinci's studies on um, symmetry. What else? Somebody else, what do you think of when you see that image? Beauty. Beauty, yeah, that's a good one. It is it's so beautiful. Anybody else? Dwayne? Balance and proportion. Balance and proportion. Again, that's what Leonardo da Vinci was studying when he was doing the, basically he was um, doing autopsies and stuff because he was so fascinated with the human body and its proportion and symmetry and beauty. One of my favorite um, images of that is the one where it has his notes kind of on the top of the sketch in the bottom. Um, because it, re it just reminds me of how passionate he was about human form and beauty, um, and that was his studies, you know. And, and so I, I bring up this particular image this week because when I see that image, I, I think of all the things that you guys said, but I also think of, and this isn't a far stretch, I hope you guys will agree with me, I think of the bandhas. And I think of it because this idea of the bondage is that we're locked in here at the center and we're strong in the center and that we grow and extend out from that center point, like all of nature. And when I see that image of him, it just, I see that so well. I, I see the reflection of how we're strong and we extend out. Um, there was a picture we used to use for all of our um, promotional stuff at the Shala that we used to lovingly refer to as the butt shot. And um, the picture was taken from the back looking um, towards the front of the, or the side of the yoga room at the time. And we were all in Prasarita Paratanasana, and we were entering the pose. Do you guys remember that? And it was a shot, I was, I was kind of in the center of, there was like Mary, you could see her fingers off to the side and some other students, you could see their fingers. But it's kind of that same image because our arms were out wide and our feet were spread wide and we were preparing to go into Prasarita Padasanasana, probably B or C, right? And, and I love that shot so much and we wound up using it for everything because I think to me it spoke of all the things you said. Beauty, symmetry, um, health, all the things that I feel like yoga is meant to be for us, you know. And bandhas, that we're strong in the center, well, like we've been studying, we extend out of that center point into the most, the very most edges of our body and everything that we do. So I want to propose this to all of you that kind of the way I did this with the butterflies, like I want to put this image in your mind 
of the Vitrovian man and say, I'm just putting him there because what's going to happen then is you guys are going to start to see him everywhere, right? On billboards and in books and, you know, in your sleep, you're going to start to see him. And when you see this image, what I would like it to conjure up something very personal for you and can be any of the things we mentioned or all the things we mentioned. May, may it conjure up images of your practice and how beautiful and the art that goes into your practice every time you come to the mat and the symmetry and the um, and the alignment and I kind of call him the yes man too because I feel like he's in his most extended expanded state which I think is something as well that our yoga practice brings us to our biggest self our hopefully our, our widest expansive version of ourself and also I hope that it reminds you of this place Sashala and just that this is your school and that like Leonardo da Vinci who never like grew tired of learning and wanting to be passionate about the human form or about his art that we might all follow in his footsteps too and constantly be scribbling notes and images of of health and and for ourselves to always be in our notebooks learning more about yoga philosophy and um, and psychology and health and neuroscience and anything that causes us to grow and expand. May that image remind us of that. So on that note, can someone hand me the quote for this week? The quote this week comes from the great beyond from Michelangelo and Patabi Joyce. We say Guruji. Um, thank you, Kimmy. Michelangelo said, I saw the angel in the marble and carved until I set him free. Guruji, practice, practice, practice. Until you set him free, find your beauty. It's always an honor each one of you. I look forward to doing this practice with you in our new Ocean Shala next Wednesday. Namaste.